How can we figure out formula for repeating sequence? For example, 001, 001, so on, so on, so on. Let me tell you, whenever we have a repeating sequence, we can try to use sine or cosine to help us out. Because they are periodic functions, they are meant to be for repeating things. This is the first example. We have two more after this, so check this out. First, let me just put down a unit circle right here because we are looking at the sine cosine value. And because this right here repeats every three times, so I'm just going to cut this into three pieces, right? So this is the first cut, and then 2 pi divided by 3 is 2 pi over 3, so I will just make a cut like this right here. That's 120 degrees, by the way. And then another rotation. So we have this, and then we're looking at this, this, and that. Now, which one's easier? Sine or cosine? Well, if you take a look, we have 0, 0, the first two terms are the same value. And in fact, this and that, they have the same x value. Why? Because this is 120 degrees, so that means this angle is 60 degrees. And when you rotate 120 degrees, this is 60 degrees, right? So they do have the same x value. It would be easier to use cosine in this case. Since we rotate 2 pi over 3, that means this right here is just going to be cosine of 2 pi over 3 and that's just going to be negative 1 half so this right here will tell us the x value right here at this point is going to be at negative 1 half and then right here we will also have negative 1 half and then right here we will have 1 right and of course we're just looking at the cosine value so that's just the x values so let's see I want to start right here, and that's good because n start with 1. I'm just going to write that down. If we have the formula cosine of 2 pi over 3 times n, n start with 1, that means this will produce this first, and then that, and then that, and then it keeps on going right that, right? So we have negative 1 half, negative 1 half, and then 1, and so on, so on, so on. But we don't want negative 1 halves, we want 0 and 0. It's okay, because we can just take this and then what? Add one half to it. So here, if we have cosine of 2 pi over 3 n, and then we add one half, well, you just add one half to each every term. So we will just produce 0, 0, and then one half plus 1 is 3 over 2, and so on, so on, so on. So these are good. But we do not want 3 over 2. We want to have 1. So what do we do next? Well, we can just take this formula and just multiply by the reciprocal of that. So let's multiply this by 3 over 2's reciprocal, which is 2 over 3. And when we do that, we will get this times that, which is 2 times cosine of 2 pi over 3n. This times that, the 2 will cancel, or just have the plus 1, and then let's put down the over 3 on the bottom like so. In fact, we can just take this right here to be our a n, because this right here will produce 2 over 3 times this is just 0, likewise another 0, 2 over 3 times that is the 1, and so on, so on, so on. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a formula for that sequence. For number 2, we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Yes, this right here repeats every 4 times. So again, let's just take a look at the unit circle. And we'll cut this into 4 pieces. So here we go. And that means we're just looking at this point here, and then this point here, and then here, and also here. And perhaps let's just use cosine. Why? Because n start with 1. You see, the first rotation will get us here. And that rotation is 90 degrees, which is just pi over 2. The x value here is 0, right? And then right here, the x value is negative 1. And then the x value here is 0. And then the x value here is 1. So again, we're focusing on the cosine values. And if you just look at cosine of pi over 2n, this is going to produce 0, negative 1, 0, 1, and then so on, so on, so on. So let me write that down for you guys real quick. And this is pretty good because we have this, this, and that match with this, this, and that. Now, we need to somehow make this term become 0. We know negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So hopefully we can have a 
sequence that goes like this 0, 1, 0 because negative 1 plus 1 is 0 0 plus 0 doesn't change anything that's why I want to have this but if we have 0, 1, 0 already the next one let's just have 1 right here as well even though 1 plus 1 will be 2 but we can just divide it by 2 later on so how can we come with a formula for this? it's actually pretty straightforward because we have this already either you take the absolute value but that's just square this right here because if you want to come with a function that has these values then when you square a function it's still differentiable uh, so take the square of this so we get cosine square of pi over 2n if you want to have fun you can put that to the fourth power I'm not going to stop you but let's not do that let's not be too crazy okay this is what we have Hmm, no good, right? It's okay. Just divide it by 2 here because that way that means we divide everything right here by 2. So, ladies and gentlemen, we can just have an being equal to that. This right here will produce 0, 0, 0, 1, so on, so on, so on, which is that one. Number 3 is kind of different. We have 1, 1, and then negative 1, negative 1 and then 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, and so on. It does repeat every four times, right? Okay, let's take a look at the unit circle first. But this time, we are not going to cut this into four pieces like what we did for number two. But instead, we are going to make the cut like this. Like when you cut the pizza, or maybe like a waffle. Well, I don't know how to cut the pizza or waffle. But cut it like this. And the reason is because you see, we want the first two terms to be the same. If you look at this and that point, they have the same y value. So it would be a good idea to use sine. And when we do that right here, I meant to say that's pi over 4. And after that, we just rotate pi over 2. So Starting by looking at sine of pi over 2, and again, we are talking about the y value this time. Sine of pi over 4 is 1 over square root of 2. And once you get to here, you know, we have the same y value, so that's 1 over square root of 2. But once we rotate to here, it has the negative y value, so this right here is negative 1 over square root of 2. And lastly, this right here, they have the same y value, negative 1 over square root of 2. So, here we go. We want to start by having this point right here first. We have to do it carefully. If we look at sine, if you put on pi over 4, that's good, we get this. But you have to have the n in order to get the formula going, right? But if you put on n right here, that's not the way to go. You have to add pi over 2 every time, right? So you have to put on pi over 2, but do not multiply by n, because n starts with 1. If you put down pi over 2 times n plus that, you are actually looking at this point right here first. That's not what we want. Don't worry, let's just put down n minus 1. Because this way, when n is equal to 1, this doesn't matter. We will just have sine of pi over 4, which is this right here. And then when the next term comes, that's n is equal to 2. This will tell you to rotate pi over 2, so you actually go here, and then so on, so on, so on. So if we have this, check this out. This is going to produce 1 over square root of 2, and then 1 over square root of 2, and then negative 1 over square root of 2, and then negative 1 over square root of 2, and so on, so on, so on. Cool. Now we just have to modify this a little bit. Check this out. 1, 1, and then this is this and that, positive, positive, right? And then this is negative 1, negative 1, and this is that negative, negative. Perfect. So what do we have to do? Just take this and multiply by square root of 2. That's it. <laughs> so in fact, all we have to do is just multiply this by square root of 2. This right here will give us, when we do this times that, it's just 1, and then 1, and then negative 1, negative 1, and so on, so on, so on. So, we will take this to be our an dandio. Cool, huh?